Holy matrimony. We need to go get Big Ounce a seagull to eat or else he's gonna die. Skip to bed and bed it. Oh, look at her go. Wow. An angry little boy. How's about I get this light bulb out of your mouth? Look at how precious. Stop grabbing me, boy. Get off me. Drinking water. We still got some ice. What the dog doing? Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to show you what my days have been like. I still have this little dingus. I started putting diapers on her before she goes to bed because she will poop in her pouch. I need to take it off, though. Looks like she's been chewing on it a little bit. That is an epic gamer moment. This pouch here is too small and it doesn't really work. She can get out of it really easily. After she's done eating, I'm going to go ahead and move her outside to a little outdoor area and then I'm going to put another diaper on her, maybe bring her back inside if it's too cold. Because it is getting down to the 40s today in the morning. It could be a little cold for this adorable baby boy. But I don't have an exact name for her yet, but for now I just call her Bimbgus or office chair because she hangs from an office chair. The baby's original name was Doorknob because we hung him from a doorknob. But after after she gets the rest of this gloop glop, I'm gonna go ahead and move her on outside. What the dog doing? What do this dog be doing? Today, the baby is going to meet his child bride for the very first time. Shake my hand, sir. Shake my hand. I got you a child bride. Look at this cringe ah ah wobby. These little clappy blappy survived the cold last night. I went ahead and drained their water, so now I'm gonna go ahead and refill it. It only went down to 32 degrees last night, but we still got some ice. Cappy drinking water for today. The baby here started to grab me and hug me from behind, so I fought it on him. See, guys, if you ever want to survive a kangaroo attack, all you have to do is just fart on them. It's extremely effective. Okay, now that that's full, I'm going to take this. And while this is filling up, I'm going to go ahead and do the other chores. Stop grabbing me, boy. Get off me. Boy, get them big, meaty claws off me. After I do that, I go ahead and I feed these goats. Oop, oop, spill a little bit on a little bit up here, too. And I fill up their little water bowl. Sorry for getting some food on your head. Go ahead, Remington. Help them build the house. After that, I feed Petunia. After that, I will feed these emus. And my adorable baby ostrich, name of Homelander. Good morning, sir. How's about you stop knocking over your feed buckets for them? Lot of vultures out today. But first, I feed these boys because they're too loud and annoying to feed last. And that's all I give them for the day. Happy boys. Because we're out of feed for all the rat tights, I'm going to have to go to the store over here. This is what I call the Urban Rescue Ranch store. This is my adorable shipping container. We have solar power running all the lights in the back here. This is what I have in the store. I got tons of sweet feed, way too much, and then I have all this stuff. I also have a coyote trapping kit that I haven't really needed to use yet. This is a much better feed setup for these guys because Kevin doesn't bite me whenever I'm over here. See, he can't even get over here. Dumb little dingus. Now with this trough, Kevin isn't able to get too close to me to where he can just bite me from this side. So look at how nice all this grass is back here, you guys. I'm not even running the sprinklers and because i'm too cheap and lazy to buy missouri ostrich feed for 30 dollars a bag i mix alfalfa and layer pellets because it's literally the same thing hello homelander so i have to come back here and flip this every day because he's a little dingus and just needs to flip him but i do like hand feeding him because it makes him a happy little handsome boy that's friendly if you watch this in slow motion basically he just picks up the food and throws it into his throat but okay i'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here meanwhile kevin's just over here at attacking a literal light bulb because he thinks it's me. An angry little boy. How's about I get this light bulb out of your mouth, buddy? He sure is angry. Okay, so now these guys have tons of food. I'm bleeding for some random reason. Shrek? Only true fans of the channel will know what this gloop glop is. And the bees are somehow still alive. Look at these fold. Now that all that is done, I'm going to go ahead and let my bambus so she can go out for her morning run. Okay, good morning. My little bumpgus, let's go. Come on, bimgus. It's time to meet your future husband. Watch you guys. In a couple seconds, she's about to just take off. There she goes. Look. <laughs> she is so fast for being just barely out of the pouch. Be friendly with her queen. Wow, look at her go. Hog moment. <gasps> is that Billy Eyelash? Billy Eyelash in the flesh? Wow. Cardi B? Hit rapper and artist Cardi Bingus? Wow. Oh, look at her go. She just ran right by her future husband. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hello. Hello. I remember when the baby used to run like that. It's time to meet your child bride, hit rapper and artist the baby. It's happening. It's happening. Oh! It's finally happening. They don't really seem to have any interest in each other. Oh, but here he comes. Wow. <laughs>
What do you think, sir, of this child bride that keeps running away? Okay, this water's almost done being filled up, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the hose. But look at how precious this little creature is. This is the correct way to hold them. Doesn't look like he's getting aggressive with her or anything like that at all. And she's just interested in exploring everything right now. Look at this little creature. Wow, the baby can definitely tell that this is a small little version of him. Wow. Perfect little creatures. Oh, but that don't mean nothing to me, he says. Gee, Papa, I sure am thankful for you for getting me this child bride. Don't you worry about it, baby. I only want the best for my son and my favorite hit rapper and artist who continually comes to my ranch and shouts me out. Oh, look, she's going in the barn for the first time. Okay, Bimgus, this is kangaroo food. Uh, you should have a little bit of this. Here you go. Also, I hooked this heat lamp up last night so the cappies would be nice and warm. She knows how to eat the kibble. Now she knows where to go whenever she wants free kibble. But look at this precious creature. And now she has all the kibble she needs, so I don't need to give her as much milk. But I am going to still be bottle feeding her three times a day. And now that I know the baby is not a danger for her right now, and I know the dogs aren't a danger for her either, I'm going to go ahead and let her run around out here with minimal supervision because she has infinite food out here. She really doesn't need a ton of other stuff. I guess I'll also fill up this water though, just so it's topped off. And this way she also gets to munch on all these little patches of fresh grass around the property. Bim gets posted up. But as you guys can see, I've been getting a lot of work done on my new building. I don't have any contractors helping me with this at all. This is uh, my project I'm doing by myself. As you can see, these are my tools. Uh, this is my tool belt. Now I'm putting on the floor joists. As you can see, I have two by 12s here. I went ahead and put all this concrete in myself. I bought my own cement truck for that. As you can see, I'm alone here with the generator running so that's how you know it's just me doing all of this work. As you can see this is the foundation of the new building and after all these joists are in here the subfloor is going to go right on top of that and then we can start framing. That's it though guys that's the update on the new house. Look at her eating this fresh grass. Hello Pauber. I also have all of this kangaroo and wallaby food. They can eat the same stuff. I think wombats also eat the same stuff. Here's a big old bowl of food for you my adorable baby creature. Fresh nice food for a small creature so as yourself. Queen, what do you think of this adorable little creature? So fella just ran over to the baby, sniffed his nose, and then ran around, and now she's underneath me. Look how she just sitting here in between my legs. Time for you to go meet your new husband. Come on now, my adorable little... Oh, she bit me. Look at this man trying to get my attention. He just gets up on top of me like this and says, Please, Papa, scratch my chest like you always do. And when I start doing it, he goes, No thoughts, head empty for like an hour. And just like that, bada bing, bada boom, the baby meets his child bride. Wow, here they are, you guys. And preparing for holy matrimony. Isn't this the most beautiful thing ever? Don't worry about it, the baby. She'll come around eventually. There's Big Ounce. Good morning. <gasps> Big Ounce. You guys, look at him. He's so thin. He's starving. Guys, we need to go get Big Ounce a seagull to eat or else he's going to die. If we don't feed Big Ounce a seagull in under 24 hours, he's going to die. So I'm going to go to Florida right now. Hey kids, it's me, Uncle Farmer Dad Ben. I'm here on vacation. It's Vacation Ben. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to catch a nice tasty seagull to feed your families. Everything you need to catch them is at Walmart. You just need a shovel, a nice big towel, and let's go get some bread. And this is more than enough bread. <laughs> Okay, step one, pay some random girl to dig you a big hole. After the hole is done, pay him to fill it back in because that's way too deep. And whoa, what's this? Is this what I think it is? It is an epic megalodon tooth right here at the beach. As you can see, these seagulls here are going from group to group to take everyone's food. Uh, they're actually attacking these people here. So it's a pretty simple setup. I just get two towels, I cover myself with them, and I get in the hole, and then I have someone throw bread on my lap. All right, the second these seagulls start to get comfortable landing on your lap, you grab them. And just a fair warning, these seagulls do bite, but it doesn't hurt that much unless you're a little baby boy or something. <laughs> and just like that, bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a seagull. I don't care what you do with it. It's your seagull. You can feed it. You can eat it. Uh, just depends on what your local municipalities say. Make sure you check the laws. Oh no, my go gosh, stop. You're stressing the seagull. Oh, yeah? Well, that's him eating right there. He's clearly not stressed enough to where he can still eat and bite at the same time. Okay, time to send this guy home to Big Ounce so he can eat and his life will be saved. Whoa, is that what I think it is? It is, in fact, a megalodon tooth. Wow, this is totally legitimate footage of me finding a megalodon tooth. Hmm, those sandpipers, sure 
Oh, look tasty. Don't mind if I do with these adorable little baby boys. Yum, 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 yum. Wow, Dad, thank you for giving me that seagull. It sure was delicious. Now my life is saved. Well, I love you guys. I appreciate you, and thanks so much. Hey, that's my line, Big Outs. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next video. Oh, almost forgot to tell you.